Hey guys, ladies here, and welcome to another Photoshop CS5 Extended How-To Tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be creating a strap effect similar to this one. It's quite easy to make, and it's very useful, and you'll be able to use it in your future projects. And it looks pretty cool. So let me get this off, and then we can make a start. I already created this document. It's 1200 by 1200 and I just added a gradient overlay to it, a radial one and a texture. If you don't know how to create this you should follow along on my Photoshop CS5 Extended for Complete Beginner series and then by the end of it you should be able to create it. So what I want to do is basically just create a shape on a new layer. So if I just make a sh selection right here and fill it in with black doesn't really matter what color and then what I want to do is just add a gradient overlay to it just to make it more interesting so it's not boring basically so that gradient should do the trick for us and what I want to achieve is have two straps coming down here that looks like my background and it basically looks like as if my background is strapping this shape to itself okay so the first thing you want to do is create a new layer and you can duplicate the shape or you can just make a new selection like I'm going to so I'm just going to make a long selection right here I'll just move it up a bit and fill it in with our paint bucket tool Ooh, sorry about that, that was my phone. Fill it in with my paint bucket tool with a plain colour. Like so, move it wherever I want to. And if you double click your layer, you've got your layer styles come up. And I'm just going to apply an outer glow to it. I'm going to set the blend mode to normal. And the colour it if you click this little square here the color picker comes up I'll just pick a black color click OK and what you can do you can just increase the size to about 40 pixels to start off with and then we'll adjust it later on then the next thing is go to blend mode options and in advanced blending you can change the fill opacity so I'm going to turn it down to zero and as you can tell it turned off the fill in the layer or in our selection and now the only thing you can see is the outer glow which is actually a more like a drop shadow but it's all the way around because we changed the colour to black so what I can do now I can increase the size a little bit more if I wanted to just to make it wherever or however I want it to be so click OK and then move it where you want it to be. I want it somewhere here on the edge. And if I zoom in, as you can tell, we got sort of an issue because we still have the shape coming through in the middle of our strap and we don't want that. So the way you can get rid of this, there are many ways, but the way I would advise you using is quite easy. We're going to be using our layer mask again and if you control click your layer to make a selection then go to select inverse so it inverses your selection and then if you go to your layer where you got your shape alright click the layer mask button and as you can tell it added the layer mask to our selection and now it got rid of the middle bit of the bar that we don't need but as you can tell it still doesn't it still doesn't really look like as if it's part of the background our strap and the reason for that is because we got our outer glow is still seen here so what we're going to do we're just going to pick up our eraser tool E on your keyboard increase the size to about 150 pixels should do and pick a fairly soft brush with a soft edge like this one and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase the bottom bit a tiny bit 
and as you can tell it's sort of bland blends with the background now so I'm going to do the same thing on the top just very gently and now we got our strap created and it looks perfect if you wanted to add more straps or wanted to move this one let's say I want to move this strap if I move it as you can tell a mask doesn't come with it okay so there are two things you can do you can either unlock this layer and move the mask with it okay so let's say I want it here so I can move my mask over there and then move my shape over there or if I undo all this and lock my mask back on I can move my shape here because this is where I want it to be then click on my mask pick up my brush tool uh, normal if you press B on your keyboard and then select my foreground color to white if you press X and then just brush it in and it gets rid of it now if I make a selection of my shape my strap control click then pick a black for my foreground color X on your keyboard to swap the foreground and background color and brush it in as you can tell it, get, it masks it in okay so now what I want to do is I just want to add another strap on the side so I'm just going to duplicate my layer V on your keyboard to move it I'm just going to move it to the side as you can tell the middle bit is there again so I'm just going to control click my selection B on my keyboard to pick up my paintbrush make sure that my foreground color is black and I'll just, oh sorry, white, black but I need to select my masking layer right here and then just brush it in and I got my next strap created alright so this is it for this tutorial guys I hope you enjoyed it, I know it's a bit short but this should do it and in the next tutorial we'll probably go through uh, more experiments with this trap and how you can use it in your um, in your images so I hope you enjoyed it make sure you leave a like comment favorite and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode